A good crispy bread and butter pickle is hard to resist, but did you know they're not that hard to make? Let's make bread and butter pickles. Today we're gonna make refrigerator pickles, which are not pickles that are canned and stored on your shelf. They're pickles that you make and you store them in your refrigerator and you're going to eat them within three to four weeks. So this batch makes just enough for three or four weeks worth of eating pickles. You start with a mini cucumber, also known as a Kirby cucumber or a Persian cucumber. They are sweet, delicious, small in size, and they don't have many seeds in the middle, which makes them perfect for bread and butter pickles. The first step is to wash them. I've already done that here. We're going to trim off both ends of the cucumber. One reason, of course, is to make sure that you can evenly slice everything, but there's also an enzyme in the blossom end which can turn that cucumber slice mushy. We don't want mushy pickles, we want crispy pickles, and there are a few things you need to do to ensure that. This is the first thing. Once you have all those ends trimmed, I'm going to use a mandolin slicer to slice these cucumbers because I want the slices to be uniform in size. That will help them pickle evenly. So I'm gonna load them into this and slice away. Once all your cucumbers are evenly sliced, let's think about the other vegetables we're gonna put into those pickle jars, which are thinly sliced white onion and some diced red pepper. That's just for a touch of color. Put our cucumbers into a big bowl, add our white onion, add our red pepper, and then we're gonna mix these together. Now, the best tool to use in the kitchen for this is your hands. We're going to add an ingredient here which is going to help keep our pickles crispy, and that is some salt. You're going to put the salt all over. Understand that we're going to rinse this salt off at the end, so a lot of salt goes on now. That's going to draw some of the moisture out of the cucumbers. That will help keep that cucumber crispy once we have it in the brine. Before we let these cucumbers and onions and peppers sit for a while, just cover them with some ice cubes. Although these are going in the fridge, the ice cubes will help keep this cucumber crispy once we get it into the brine. So it just cools it down rapidly, keeps it cold for a good long time. These are going to go into the fridge for at least four hours. You can do it overnight, but not much longer than overnight. After about four hours, your cucumbers have been sitting in the fridge. The ice has probably melted. It's time to make the pickles. So we're going to start by making a pickling brine. These are bread and butter pickles, so this brine includes a lot more sugar than normal pickling brines, but that's what makes them so delicious. Let's start with some white vinegar in a big stock pot some apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add our sugar, and then we're gonna add spices. Now here you can mix it up a little bit and add the spices that you like. I'm gonna add some yellow mustard seed. Brown mustard seed is really nice as well. Some black peppercorns, some crushed red chili flake, some coriander seed, cinnamon stick broken into pieces, just a pinch of allspice, about six cloves, and some turmeric. Turmeric is what gives that great color to those pickles. So we're just bringing that to a boil so that we can dissolve that sugar properly, get all those flavors to blend. So while that comes to a boil, let's get our cucumbers ready. The ice has melted and the cucumbers have given off some of their liquid. We're going to drain this and we're gonna rinse this a couple times to get any residual salt off of that. Once our cucumbers are rinsed, it's time to put the cucumbers into the brine. Give it a stir to make sure all that sugar has dissolved and then add the cucumbers to the brine. Now what we're looking for now is for that brine to come back to a boil. Once the brine's come back to a boil with all the cucumbers in there, let's turn that off and start packing our jars. Now your jars must be clean. I usually run these through the dishwasher cycle. That sanitizes them at a high temperature, but they have to be clean jars to store your pickles. Just start spooning them in. I have them resting on some silicone just to keep them in place and pack them pretty tightly. Pack those pickles right down in there all the way to the rim and then we'll fill them with the brine. So once all your pickles are in your jars, and this did create about four jars, I was ready for more if it was going to be that way, but let's transfer that brine to a pouring vessel. This will make it easier to fill the jars with that brine all the way up so that they're all covered. And then we're gonna pop those lids on. You put the lids on while the pickles are warm because as they cool, it'll let suck that lid down a little bit, creating a nice seal. Now wash off the jars, pop them into your refrigerator, give them to friends as gifts if you like. You've got four jars of bread and butter pickles that I guarantee will be crispy until you finish them. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click right over here. If you'd like to see everything I use in this recipe, click over here. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for more basics, put them right down in the comment section below.